great to be in Santa Cruz, but a bit expensive. I wanted to check out another option nearby. Red Azul had a well-protected marina just a few kilometers from the city. It looked nice, had a bathing area frequently mostly by locals, which would be good for me to practice my Spanish. And just beyond another beach was this little coastal pueblo. I had to have a look, and as well, play out this great track I found on the YouTube audio library. The thing about sailing is that you make friends somewhere and then meet them again somewhere else. Jean and Flo are a couple I met in Port Locat, France. They had decided to untie the lines and sail around the world too. And here they were in Santa Cruz de Tenerife, getting ready to sail out to Cabo Verde. Il pleut? Et après, euh, ça, va, ça va pétoler. Hein. Alors, on arrivera euh, dimanche, je pense. Ok. Ou ouais, une semaine, une ouais, semaine une... pour 700 000. Euh, ça devrait le faire. Ouais. La météo dans l'ensemble est bonne. Ouais. Amy, you remember Jean and Flo from Port Lecat. They were getting their boat prepared when I was there. And then I took off. And now they made it here to um, Santa Cruz de Tenerife. And they're leaving today for. Yeah, they're going around the world, man. Here we are in their boat. Their Beneteau, c'est quoi? What kind of Beneteau? 380. Their son had joined them for the crossing to Cabo Verde and on to cross the Atlantic. They had already done this when he was a little boy 
and in a much smaller boat. And here they were off again to take on the Atlantic. See you soon. We didn't say goodbye, but see you later. I had a few things to sort out on Gallopin before my next guest would come aboard. This is one of the reasons why I've been having to climb up on the deck, because this line on the edge of my uh, Genoa has been coming loose, and then finally the blocker, uh, whatever you call it, got unstitched. So I've got to do some stitching. Little problems, but only solutions, right? Well, much to my chagrin, my protests, um, I have a television in here. Even though I didn't want a television, that's the last thing I wanted on the boat was a television. But I've had a change of heart. I want to learn Spanish. I can get around pretty well, but I want more. And I thought, what a great way to learn by watching local television. I've got all the elements, I just need to connect it. So I've connected the electricity to this Glomex uh, antenna um, gadget. And now I'm fishing out the actual antenna cable to connect it to the Glomex and connect it to the television and check that the channels work. As I go around the world too, I think it's a great way to get information through television and to learn some things about the, the, the local place that you go to. So TV is not a bad idea in that sense. I have to refrain from watching, you know, stupid stuff and, and try to stick to the Spanish. And I think I can do that. I'll stay away from CNN and BBC and all that kind of stuff and, and really immerse myself in, 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 in Espanol. Well, success. The only thing is, is uh, first channel I landed to was Disney Channel. Let's see what else we've got. Well, I can learn football terms or soccer. And you really need languages. And that's how you, you know, really get to understand the culture. It's just a few words, if at least you make an effort. And I think local people appreciate that. I had a television which Daniel had strongly suggested I install. It was a good thing as he came to hang out for a couple of weeks. He rented a car and we went out to discover more of Tenerife. So this uh, little cactus fruit is really good. It tastes like pomegranate. One thing is they have like tiny little needles and uh, got a bunch of them stuck in my fingers. I even got one stuck in my tongue. I can't get it out, man. It's bugging me. I managed to pull the cactus needle stuck in my tongue with a pair of tweezers that night. And the next day, we decided to go on a hike. Dan was fresh off the plane in his fashionable walking gear and on his phone still dealing with boat clients back in France. We have to follow these markings to stay on the trail. The trail is called a sendero in Espanol. Tenerife has lots of walking trails and we wanted some exercise. And off we went. Merry Christmas. It's one thing to see a poinsettia plant in stores at Christmas time. Quite the other to see one like this in the wild. The trail got steeper and steeper as we went up. And we went up and up and up. Vegetation is changing here. It's more evergreen. This trail was never ending. Dan's protests were too. He wanted to turn around and go back down, but for me that was not an option. We had to continue on and make our way down another trail. Well, it's not for tall people, but if we get stuck up here, we can always crash out in here. Let's go, we have separate rooms. There was no reason to complain. We wanted exercise and geez, we got it. This is quite the climb. Huh? What do you think, Daniel? I'm so tired. I feel going up and up and up. These steep steps. Whew, what a workout. What have we got here? Not at the top, but...
gentlemen. Mirador el Azomadero. The views are beautiful as seen here, with some leftover cactus juice spots on my lens. I just got shocked by his radio frequency waves or something. It's like a Eiffel Tower of communications. We argued a bit as had to get down and fellow hikers settled things between us. Stupidly, we'd only brought a couple of bottles of water and tried lame survival tactics. This watermelon looked like one, but turned out to be a disappointment. That's where we were up there. You can't even see it behind the clouds, actually. We were above the clouds, now we're under the clouds. trails were really well maintained. It was us that needed more maintenance. It's quite the walk. We weren't really in for this. We're almost down. We found our way back, but we're not quite there. It's still a little ways to the village. But we climbed way the hell up to that um, communications tower, all the way up this mountain. Jesus. I had no idea we were going to go that far. Whew. What a workout, man. Wow, what a walk, man. Thank God that guy picked us up. Once down, we asked for directions back to the town where our rental car was, and thank goodness, we were offered a ride. That's where we started. That's where we were. That's where we were four hours ago. Insane. We'd seen a lot by land. Next, it was time to see the island from the ocean and give Galapan an outing. <laughs> 